Hi, I'm Heidi Larson. I'm sorry not to be with you at the meeting today. I just wanted to share a few words coming back uh, recently from Japan, where I met with public health professionals, researchers, academics, and the Ministry of Health to discuss the current situation of HPV vaccination in Japan. What really struck me was this absolute growing frustration among health professionals, particularly obstetrics and gynecology and pedi pediatric associations, who together are starting to connect. And ha I have here a petition of over 250 signatures that are saying, we need a change, we want support. They feel actually not just undermined, but really let down by the government's silencing of a proactive recommendation of what they believe is a really important vaccine. Did this petition ever make it into the media? No. And my second point is about the media and about the fact that to date, it's been largely uh, absent these voices, these growing voices of positive support for HPV vaccine. And somehow these silent majority, as they were, who are starting to write peti petitions, who are appealing for support to a more positive voice, need to be captured by the media. Um, how can we support that? And the other part of the media voice is that it can help build a confidence for political support. So the third point is about high level political support to this issue. So we have the health professionals who are growing and increasing their positive sentiment. We need a media that listens to a multiple chorus of voices, including this emerging choir and chorus of, of the positive health professionals and others. And then the third thing is high level political leadership that says, that we support this, we give people the choice. We are not gonna silence the proactive recommendation, but you have a choice. And we think this is a good thing if you want it. And this is a continuous cycle. There is no single solution to this issue. It needs a multiplicity of voices from high level political leadership, media attention to multiple voices and an engagement of the existing silent majority who are indeed quite positive about this vaccine. Thank you.